What's up, everybody? It's Joan Art Trav. That's right, Travis from the Joan Art. Thanks for clicking on the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications. And when you're done with this video, head on over, check out Denny Man Jazz as well. Hey, you want, let's get the housekeeping out of the way with first. Go to soundcloud.com forward slash Joan Arts. Check out all the music that we've been releasing for the Joan Arts 25, including the latest song uh, a few days ago called It's All Good. It's a Joan Art Drive original. I wrote the music for and do the vocals on. Sat down with Denny, did all the arrangements in the studio, did the multi-tracking, the drum beat is just incredible. So thanks to Denny for that, we appreciate it. And hey, uh, like the last video uh, with our song Offer, I did a quick little lesson. I wanted to do a quick little lesson with something a little dirtier, speaking of, including the last song we just released called It's All Good. And if you remember at the beginning of the last video, I did mention for the record, it is in the key of F sharp in the intro. So, like last time, if you have your guitar ready, go ahead. I'm tuned to standard A440 tuning. Uh, for those of you that do not have a tuner or are not familiar with it, go ahead and grab your guitar. Get a little distorted sound going if you would like. And go ahead and take your bottom string, your low E string, play it open, and tune to my note. the song it's all good at its heart it's a love song if you listen to the words maybe a little sick and twisted and a little demented type of love song but a love song nonetheless uh, so there again like the last song the song has two main riffs that's it it's really simple uh, this gets kind of down into the dirty into the heaviness that I like to uh, bring into the band uh, so let's do it this way the intro here's your chords for the intro and the verse that's your third that's your one of the main riffs it's going to be an e f sharp and a g that's it those three notes e f sharp g has a nice simple groove uh, on a four count uh, during during the four count will be the drum intro that Denny does it sounds wonderful getting into the groove uh, so it's a one two three four like that so let's look at that riff a little closer not that close okay so it starts with an E power chord hammering on to an F sharp power chord so you go from the F sharp up to the G And I slide back down to the F sharp and carry on with the beat. So it begins like this. One, two, three, a four. like that nice and easy simple groove uh, you just stay on that riff uh, now that was the accented notes now between some of those notes is the uh, the the chicka chicka you know that kind of stuff so with that in mind uh, the way that I play it uh, on the record and live is once again coming off the four count which would be Denny's drum intro one two three <laughs> Kind of 
stay in that groove with the picking hand. And yes, don't adjust your screens. I am left-handed, so I apologize for any confusion for some of you out there. But I am left-handed. So now, coming off of that G, we go into the second, uh, the second riff, second main riff. It's kind of the pre-chorus, chorus, and uh, it, it's very simple again. It's a D, E, G, D, D, E, G, D. Just like that. Now it does that riff four times, and at the end of the fourth time, you kind of hold that D. Another count back into the riff. So, coming from the verse riff G note, going into the pre chorus will be something like this. Hold the D. Two, three, four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Just like that. Nice and simple, nice and easy, basic groove, kind of real simple chording, uh, basic power chords throughout the whole thing. Uh, now when you listen to the track, I know it might be kind of hard to tell when you're listening through an iPhone or a small speaker, uh, but when you do get it on a fuller size kind of stereo playback or a, a better system, you can hear a lot of the intricate different tracks that uh, I did play. Now during the chorus, okay, uh, what I would do, I have a track doing just the main riff, as you just saw. So I got one guitar doing that. Now I'll have the other guitar track, and I think I multi-tracked this as well, uh, coming out of the G. So you'll be playing D, E, G, D. Yes, D. So I'll be playing this. Just like that, nice and simple. There's a lot of little intricate uh, guitar lead stuff and little tracks. That's some of the funnest stuff is having a track or two just dedicated to doing stuff like that. Making little noises, it's so much fun. Anyway, that's basically the track for the guitar solo. Uh, just like the previous video, um, this one pretty much again kind of stays in that box format and just kind of repeats some of the same phrasing up in the upper register. So it's in the key of F sharp, so you're coming out of the D, coming into the solo, and the three, four, and... That's simple, just stayed in that little Two, four. The 
throw some bends in there, barely any finger movement at all. And then it repeats itself kind of up in the upper register, same, maybe not the same phrasing, but the same idea. And it rounds it out uh, with some doubling guitar, uh, with the, uh, you know, coming onto the, the first part. Nice and simple, kind of stays in that box pattern again. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it. Nice and straightforward. An E, an F sharp, a G, and a D. That's it, through the whole thing. Thanks for clicking on the video. Hope that kind of helps. Helps you, you know, I'm gonna post some more of these videos, kind of go through the music aspect of some of the Jonard's material. Uh, also, I'll give you updates as well. So hey, thanks a lot guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for clicking on the video. Check us out online, facebook.com. Check out social media on YouTube, Jonard Trav and Denny Man Jazz, and soundcloud.com forward slash Jonard's. Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. And signing off, with a little dirt again.